Mm hmm Oh, that's thick. That's what she said. <laughs> Hi, I'm Michael Joy. Welcome back to another mold making reaction video. This is for our manufacturing platform and we are at the basics. So there's people out there that will wonder why I'm saying such obvious things. But hey, if mold making is new to you, nothing's obvious. This is why we're getting the beginning in the bag. So let's get started. We are starting with a couple simple things and this is making a mold of a cup. This is more of a video for somebody who's just getting started. Maybe an instructor wants to use this as a teaching tool or someone is just curious about the concept of the process. This is actually how I started the first chapter of my ceramic mold making book. So I'm going to see how similar their video is to that chapter and we'll be mixing assets uh, together. Pictures from my book versus pictures from this video. Also I'm going to start using the mouse as a little pointer. Uh, to indicate some places of attention. Hopefully it won't be too distracting. I'm not used to laptops, I'm old school, so let's get to it. Oh, it's music, no talking. Putting clay in the cup is the best way. You would think you would want to fill it with plaster, but it, it's just gonna make it lock into the mold later. Clay will allow you to pull it out. You'll see. How long is this? Oh, it's only, oh, it's fast. Everything's good so far. It's a good starter project for beginning mold making in classes. You get to learn how to mix plaster and... Mm -hmm. This is one of the first ones that actually looks like they're using pottery soap. It's good, mold board's a little big, but okay. Haven't had to use the pointer at all so far. Oh, as you've heard me talk before, I don't really like the, those clamps. I think they're a little too, um, so these clamps are uh, good for many things, but sometimes a spring clamp on a small mold will be good. If you do use these, this handle needs to be pointed this way so that when the plaster is going into the box, you're not pouring over the, over the handle. You don't want to muck up these nice, nice clamps. You should have a pouring indication line in there too. Wait, these boards look like they're particle board. Uh, if that is, is the case, if I'm reading this right, particle board is extremely moisture sensitive and it's just gonna swell up and dissolve over a short amount of time. Use plywood or laminated boards. What do we got here? Oh, mixing plaster. Water first. This type of scale is, is really not a good plaster scale. You really want a scale that's kind of like an old fruit scale. They have an old fruit scale is the one that has a dial in the front with the platform on top. This will work for small amounts. Put it in slow. You want to keep a box fan near you to draw the powder dust. Oh, he didn't, okay. Now this video is sped up, and remember this is for the basics. So I'm talking about things the pro guys already, uh, the pro guys and girls already know that when you put in the plaster, it should have been allowed to sit for three minutes. It's sped up, so I can't really tell the timeline. And he's mixing. I don't know what this is, but it's not a great size spatula for mixing. Okay. Also, a bucket with a spout would have been helpful because he's got a wide pour now. Oh, it just happened. Okay, well, it worked. This is the part that makes sense now. If that were solid plaster, he would have trouble getting that cup out of the mold. Now you can just twist it out. Beautiful. Perfect. Okay, wait a minute. So if you're shaving a plaster mold, this is again for the beginners, 
one, turn, two, turn, three, turn. It's, like a, it's not like a Rubik's Cube where you keep turning it all around. You, you hit the mold top side, turn it on the side, side, side. It's, 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 one, it's one move for each piece. You don't keep coming back to it. Oh, they're gonna cast it right away. So we're assuming the mold is dry. That's lumpy slip. <laughs> so what? So let's talk about that. Casting slip is something your instructor will help you with, but really this is a commercially bought prepared slip. So uh, it typically is getting used and then put back in the bucket. It's a DIY scale project, so it's okay. This technique is fine. The thing is, is if your mold is not clean and you reposition the mold directly over your casting bucket, you can get bits of plaster that fall into the, to the slip, which is not helpful for a few reasons. Um, uh, so let's see what's happening. But they're just, this is like a concept video. Mm hmm Oh, that's thick. That's what she said. <laughs> you just need a little lazy Susan and you just go whoop. Spin the mold right around. That's a heavy cup. So if you haven't seen slip casting before, what's happening is, is the, the mold is a comprehensive sponge, if you will. And when you pour liquid casting slip, it's basically water and clay that's been suspended into this syrupy uh, solution. The clay doesn't settle. And so you pour, you pour your liquid slip into the plaster mold. The plaster mold is porous and it, it draws the water into the mold and the water is small enough to pass into the, to the mold walls, but the clay particles are not. So the clay particles extend to the edge of the mold because there's a microcurrent and it kind of goes like this. And the longer you leave it in the mold, the, the thicker your casting gets. So this was uh, left in the mold uh, a little bit longer than I would have. I got to clean up the edge, but nailed it. Okay, that looks like it's been fired. Robin, let's stop there. Robin, so maybe this is some nice basic videos. I know some people that already watch our channel will be like, hey, get to the fancy stuff, but the manufacturing platform, we wanna throw down some of the basics first, put them in the bag so we can move on to the bigger things. And you'll see uh, once that page is populated and built within our shapeshifterstv.com website, you'll see that there is a sequencing that is not yet obvious uh, to the viewer right here. As always, if you're a mold maker out there making some molds, making some videos, or just know about other videos that you think would be worthy of commenting, Commentary. Shoot them to us and uh, Kay will get it lined up and talk to talk about it.